Culturizando presenta. En Yemen, a civil war there has created a humanitarian disaster. For every child killed by bombs and bullets, dozens are starving to death. This could be the world's worst famine in a hundred years. ¿Qué ver con Mavi Ganji? Hola amigos, yo soy Mavi y hoy estoy con Sky Fitzgerald. Él es el director y creador de un documental que está nominado a los Oscars que se llama Hunger War. En él se nos presenta la cruda realidad que viven las verdaderas víctimas de una guerra, la guerra del hambre que se vive en Yemen. Este documental ha levantado muchísima polémica aun cuando no ha sido presentado en cines, pero además que la administración de Biden, el presidente de los Estados Unidos, cambió una de sus políticas para dejar de alimentar la guerra de Yemen. I'm amazed of the reaction that your film is having. I'm thanking you for the work you have done with this film, giving a voice to all those people from Yemen and in general for that situation. Well, that, that's very kind of you, Mavi. We're proud that the film is having an impact is, is yeah. how we feel about it because, you know, that was the intent with the film from the outset was we of course wanted to create something cinematic Um, that hopefully would stand the test of time, but more importantly, we wanted to intervene somehow through cinema. And so we're, we're really um, proud that the film is sort of being used as a vehicle for that. And we're hopeful that um, it's going to continue to reshape policy. In short, it's, it's, it's a film that, that really illustrates the, the impact of war on civilians in Yemen and in particular children and the, the you know, the heroic efforts of doctors and, and nurses in both parts of the country to, um, to mitigate the effects of war on children. Is there something of that reaction that people is having about your film that has amazed you in particular that you didn't expect but it turned out so well now? Oh, that's, a, that's a really interesting question. Um, You know, one of the one of the interesting things about this particular project is that we haven't really shown it to people in person out of a virtual environment. We have been really excited that after watching the film, people have engaged so thoroughly and so consistently with the content of the film and have wanted to become engaged um, with Uh, you know, with learning more about the conflict in Yemen and what they can do to to help. Of course, yes, I certainly was one of them because I, you heard some part of the truth on the news and some part that you see from the UN and all the database they have about this conflict and how those people lived back then. And then you see um, something really beautiful, visually beautiful, and and those stories so well. Um, portrayed in your film and, and it's mesmerizing. I, I, I couldn't watch it at once, I'm sorry. It, it got my, you know, my breath. Mm. Was it difficult for you filming that reality? Yeah, yeah, you know, um, I, as a filmmaker, I really usually love, um, well, I love making films. It, it's, it's my passion, it's my career, it's, it's the thing I'm driven to do. Um, and I usually really love the filming piece of it, you know, being in the field. This was a difficult one to love that moment, right? That part of the process, because probably obvious, right? It's hard to see children um, suffering so much. At the same time, I felt like it was probably one of the most important shoots I've ever done in my career, um, because it is it is something that, that most people know so little about because it's so hard to get the story out of Yemen. And so um, even though it was hard to film, I felt like it was really important that we were doing it. Yes, it is. And I, I thank you again for that, for for giving the step to do it. And I know that you've been working on, on social issues on film for a while. Can you tell us in this particular project, what has come positive uh, from it that you said that it helped to open other doors that you, you never you never imagined it will be open? I mean, um, maybe you dreamed of a an Oscar, but it's not the Oscar, right? It's, it's, it's what it comes after that. Yeah, I always like to, you know, recognition is great, awards are great, 
but but for me it's the work itself that that I, I care the most about um, and that's certainly for me with this project the, the work itself now is using the film again right to to make change and I guess if I'm really thrilled about anything it's that um, we really have become part of the movement the civil society movement that is trying mm -hmm. to alter in particular US policy um, in support of the conflict in Yemen. And I'm just thrilled about that. Um, and it's a vibrant and growing movement and um, we're gonna keep pushing forward with it. I'm really excited about that piece of it. I wish you the best with this film and I wish that more changes come after it. Thank you, Mommy. I hope so Thank too. You.